All right. Today is Sunday, November 4th, 2012. I am Beak Supreme, and this is for the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. If you hear quite a bit of noise, that's uh, that, that's not my apartment. That's the, that's the neighbors. They're they're uh, they're very noisy. Uh, I've been very noisy lately. So if you hear any music or whatever, that's not me. Sorry, YouTube. It's not my copyright issue. That's the people next door. They're very noisy. Okay, I have no control over them. The reason why I'm making this video today is my friend Tom, uh, who I've been friends with for, gosh, 15 years now, since uh, the fall of 1997. Yeah, he, uh, he called me up yesterday or whatever, and uh, <clears throat> he wants to know... Or was it this morning? Anyway, he well, he did call me up this morning. He wants to know if he can drop off um, and give me a bunch of uh, video game stuff. And I'm like, yeah, cool. Um, so uh, I I didn't realize how much he was gonna actually give me. And uh, he he gave me like whoa, like more than I had hoped for. And uh, and the ironic thing is he didn't want any money for it. I had forty, yeah, about forty dollars cash in my pocket, <clears throat> and I could have gave him some money, you know. And I asked him at least once if he wanted anybody. He said no. He said he's just actually glad to get rid of all this stuff. I guess it's junking up his apartment or whatever. So like, I'm just gonna have to show you the whole treasure trove of what he gave me. Now some of the stuff I already had, um. And I'll show you the items that I already have, but hey, it's nice to have duplicates because things that, you know, that I like are, are pretty nice. Okay, first thing is he gave me this Sega Game Gear. It's blue color. I have one that's black. This one here looks like it's in pretty good condition. Well, it just needs to clean up a little bit. Uh, Tom and Jerry, how appropriate, because uh, his name's Tom. And we both know uh, we both know somebody whose name is Jerry. Okay, Sega Game Gear. Uh, I don't know if it's missing. Well, it looks like it's missing both of those connector or the battery covers, but I don't know if they're somewhere in here. This is apparently a lot of his Sega stuff. Uh, we'll get some light in here. Um, and, uh, and have to, oh, good, didn't spill it. All right, this is the Sega stuff he gave me. There's Mutant League football. It looks interesting. F-22 Interceptor. I got, hey, you know, the Raptor. I know everybody thinks the rap the the F-22 Raptor is really really new, just because it <clears throat> made its debut back in like I don't know 2005 2006 or whatever. Well, as you can see, this F-22 Raptor style. Um. Well, this game, the copyright is uh, 1991 on it, and of course it's Sega Genesis, so this game's probably no newer than 17 years old, so it's from like 95, probably at the newest, because uh, that was during the Sega Genesis Life uh, well, market span. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, yeah, I already had that one. Uh, NBA Jam, <laughs> quite a bit of sports games, maybe you just end up buying a bundle of whatever. Oh, look, this looks like a wireless adapter for controllers for the Sega Genesis. Um, uh, not a whole lot of interesting stuff in here. Um, and, uh, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, Road Blasters. Let's see if this is really what's in here, because, you know, I don't, I didn't, I mean, this is my first time really looking at what all is in here. I mean, I looked earlier, but just, just a little bit. Yep, this is the actual game cartridge. This game was legendary back in the early 1990s. Uh, in the late 19... I believe the late 1980s, but this... But definitely in the early 1990s. A uh, very popular game. Uh, they used to have it at Walmart. Um, in the town where I live. Back when Walmart here was a Division One store. Uh, <clears throat> not, not particularly large. Um... Yeah, now it's a super center. Uh, it's been that way since uh, the fall of 1994, so it's been that way for 18 years. Um, back when it was a Division One store, um, 
in the town where I live. It, it was really nice. It, it was it was it was nice. Now half of the original building exists, and that's where Tractor Supply is, and it occupies half of the original building. So if you want some nostalgic feel from 1986, you'll have to go to Tractor Supply uh, because that Walmart. Um, Walmart and JC's and the Dollar General store, they all occupied a block, basically like a little shopping center. Uh, starting in 1986, that was 26 years, well, no, I believe it is, I believe they got it done in the spring of 1986, which would have been 26 and a half years ago. Uh, I remember how neat it was. Now, the, the Walmart Supercenter, uh, when it when it opened up in uh, in the um, in the fall of 1994, it was actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I liked it, but like, I'm just talking in terms of video games. Um, the time period, yeah, when Walmart was a Division One store from '86 up to up through '94. Um, in the town where I live in, they just had neat stuff there. Just I still remember how they had the electronics department set up, and when Super Nintendo first came out, man, they like they had a really neat display, and Super Mario World was like like a cool game, you know. I mean, well, it still is, but all right. Now my friend Tom brought me some of these goodies. He brought me this GameCube here. Um, black GameCube. This I already have two black game uh, Nintendo GameCubes, and they both work. Um, <clears throat> so this will be my third. Uh, I think GameCube was a good system, uh, and it had interesting hardware in it. However, it's it's sixth generation. And everything's all 3D. If they would have did two-dimensional stuff on something as powerful as the GameCube, it would have been really, really good. Now, even on the Nintendo 64, as a matter of fact, the Nintendo 64, if you have the expansion pack to upgrade up to 8 megs of RAM, um, well, it has 4 megs in it in the system, then 4 plus, you know, with the expansion pack. So a total of 8 megs of, uh, <coughs> of memory. And, uh... If somebody would have wrote several two-dimensional games for that, like if Symphony of the Night, uh, Castlevania game, was released on uh, on uh, Nintendo 64, it would have been really good because it looked really good on the PlayStation. And then the Nintendo 64 has about three times the clock speed and more than double the amount of memory. They just the you know they they could have made it even better, but it was still a good game. Um, all right. Kung Fu, I already have that one. Um, okay, uh, Pac-Man 2, yeah, it's kind of creepy, because giving Pac-Man a voice was just really messed up. Um, and they made it into a side-scroller platform game or whatever. Dra uh, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, I believe I already have that one. But it's nice to have another one. The NES Advantage, uh... This one's Tom's, and if you look, he's got the box for NES Advantage, and he's got another box for the NES Advantage. I don't know how many of them he's got. I know he's got one right there. Um, he uh, he may have more. Well, yeah. Now, he, these are my Intellivision games. These things are almost as old as I am. Look at this old art style. Copyright date, 1981-1982. Uh, it's almost as old as I am. Uh, look at all this stuff. That late 70s artwork, early 80s, just really good. This for the uh, Intellivision. I might make a video about that. Um, <clears throat> microsurgeon. Um, and Donkey Kong for the Intellivision. I got it for the NES also. Darkwing Duck for the NES. I got it twice. I also got it for the Game Boy. Uh, the Game Boy. Yeah, it was a really good game. I wish they would have put it on Super Nintendo also. I don't know about that movie. Um, see this joystick there? Here's another one. I got two NES Advantages. I've had one since the early 1990s. 
And I got one recent, uh, seven or so years ago, whenever I bought some video game stuff, it just, I guess, came with it or whatever. But anyway, I got two of my own, plus you see this third one here of Tom's. You could have some more. I haven't even went through these boxes yet. Alright, so Castlevania 3. The original Castlevania on NES. The uh, the one that started it all, the whole series. I've already got this on NES, so this will be my second one. Of course, this one's Tom's. Not anymore. He gave it to me. River City Ransom. I already had that game on uh, NES. And um, now I have it twice because he had it. And the thing is, me and Tom... Um, you know, we uh, <clears throat> we both like a lot of the same things. That's probably why we get along so good. Um, we just have a lot of similar interests. That's part of how that's part of how I got into a lot of stuff from him. We're just people like me and him are like carriers. We carry information from other people then on to another group of people, and we yeah and. I mean, it just, and if you think we're intelligent or whatever, it's just we were around some people who knew how to do things. We just absorb information from all kind of places. All right. Hogan's Alley. I already have this game. You may have seen me talk about it in a previous video. I, I kind of remember that. So anyway, I got on NES again. Oh, yeah. Maniac Mansion for the NES. Uh, now this is my second one. I don't remember Tom telling me that he had Maniac Mansion. Um, and then this one was released after mine because it's got that little thing there. Um, talking about the TV show. Which mine did not have. I've never seen that before on mine. So mine was probably one of the earlier releases. And this is one of the after releases after it became a TV show. Okay, because this says on here... Based on the original uh, Lucasfilm game, see the TV version on the Family Channel. Well, that's the first time I've seen that. Now, I've heard of it being on the Family Channel, but, you know, I've never seen it before. RC Pro-Am, I believe I have this already. Knight Rider, I've heard of this, but, you know, I don't have it. Well, now I do, but I never had it originally. Um, ice Hockey, no, I've never had that one before. Uh, Dungeon Magic, I've never had that one before either, but now it's mine. Alright. Super Nintendo Game Genie, I already have it. <clears throat> this will be my second one. And, uh, oh, you can hack codes with this. I remember, gosh, back at 18 years ago, me and CJ was hacking codes with this, and it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Um... NES Game Genie. I already have one. Uh, yeah, I did show it in a previous video. Uh, this is my second one. Now, mine looks like it's in better condition than this. I've had mine for a full 20 years. <laughs> um, let's see. What's in, uh, what's in this? Maybe the Sega Game Gear games or something? Or I don't know. Kind of hard doing this with one hand. He didn't tell me what all was in here. Oh, Nintendo DS stuff? Okay, um... He's got some DS games? Yeah? Maybe he's got a DS. In here. I guess. Anyway, well, that's a... I don't know. He didn't say anything about it. Double Dragon 2? Um... Here's some other games. Bad dudes, I've heard of it, but this is the first time I've had it now. Um, Excite Bike, I already had that one. Now, uh, let's see, Super Nintendo games in here. Mortal Kombat 2, I already got it. Oh, Super Mario World, this will be my third one. I'd like to have the one with Super Mario Brothers. Uh, all Star or Super Mario All Stars and, and Super Mario World all in one cartridge. I've seen it before, but I don't got it. Super Mario Brothers 3. I already have that game. I uh, might have it three times now. I got it originally back in the early 90s, and then I got another one a few years back at, I believe, a pawn shop, I think. Well, I got another one now. And if I got three of them for sure, I might take it apart and look at the MMC3 chip. This game was popular for having the MMC3 chip in there, uh, uh, memory manager, and what it did is it allowed for um, 
uh, split screen and multiple sc well what they call multiple screen it, it, okay your, your little bar down the bottom that has your score and all that it's counted as a separate screen and, and from the game thing of course just like MMC1 that was uh, in Metroid um, Metroid uh, well uh, just like MMC1 there was in some other games. Uh, MMC3 lets you scroll in all directions. Now, Dracula's Curse, uh, con uh, which is Castlevania 3, uh, did that have MMC4 or 5 in there? It may have been 5, which, of course, all the MMC chips, except for number 2, I believe, let you um, scroll in all directions. But MMC3, uh, 5 was more expensive. <clears throat> to produce and it lets you have more colors on screen and more detail and stuff so that was pretty cool um let's see what we got jail toe oh it's basically loaded okay wizards and warriors yeah Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game well this is my second one I've had one since the early 90's it's a very popular game. Very po now, now this one released in 1990. I believe I still got the Nintendo Power issue with that in there. But I remember the original coin-operated arcade machine when it was at Walmart back in the late 80s, early 90s. Especially in the early 90s, it released in 1989. Very, very good game. Very well made. Once again, Konami. Now this says Ultra here. That's because Ultra is the um, the one that did it for the NES. But Konami originally made the Turtles games. Uh, especially the arcade game, and it's just a masterpiece. Now, I mean, oh, there's there's Beak Child right there. Here, here he is, his beak. There's his beak. Oh, his Beak Child, his beakishness. Oh, yes, this is uh, this is the um, the harbinger of world peace. This is the mascot of Beakobotics. Um, this is Beak Child, and he's full of goodness and magic in his soul. And he is the physical representative of his beak in this physical plane of existence. All right, <clears throat> and uh, in honor of his beak or beak child, that's why I call that's why I call myself Beak Supreme. All right. Um. Now I got the now this is the original Legend of Zelda, the first one. And now this is a reproduction put out by Nintendo in 1992. Uh, they re-released the classics. Oh, well, there's Beak Child. There he is. He's full of magic and goodness. I'll have to show more videos of him uh, with his owl-like posture. Um, this uh, this game here is a very good classic. This this is one of the first games to include a uh, memory mapper or the memory manager chip known as MMC1. It lets you scroll in more directions than just horizontal. Uh, it lets you scroll vertical and all kind of other stuff. But anyway, um, lets you go in other directions. Uh, so Metroid featured that, uh, the original Metroid. Now here is another reproduction of Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. A lot of people didn't like this because it's radically different than any of the other Zelda games with its side-scrolling. Uh, but I still think it's pretty good. Now, I, I got the Gold Zelda. Now, when the Zelda games first came out on the Nintendo NES, they had a gold plastic cartridge. And in 1992, they re-released them with this just gray plastic. Uh, it's the same game ROM, same exact data and everything. Just different cartridge. Mega Man 3, I've already had it. Uh, it was a really good game. Uh, of the Mega Man series. Now, I, I've heard of this one, I've seen it, but I've never had it before. Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Track and Field, or uh, World Class Track Meet. Uh, I don't have the, the pad for this, where you basically run on it or whatever. is technology that is similar to the, um, the dance mat in um, some of the games on PlayStation 2 and like Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, uh, there's Beak Child. Oh, he's Beaky Baby. Oh, he's full of magic goodness in his soul. <clears throat> anyway, now Nintendo was pretty revolutionary with their peripherals. Mad. Oh, a Spy vs. Spy. I heard of that before, but I never had it. Noisy neighbors. I uh, never heard, never played that game. Played Riger a little bit. It's kind of weird. I believe it was an arcade game originally. Uh, Renegade. Never played that one. 
Okay, Contra. I already got this on NES. Uh, it's a pretty good game. The arcade game is really good. Contra 3 was really good on Super Nintendo. Um, oh, the original Double Dragon. Okay. Um, Tetris 2. I've got Tetris, the original Tetris on uh, NES. Tiger Heli. Um, might be cool. I don't know. I like helicopters. Never played it before. Top Gun. I don't think I got this one. Uh, but now I do. TNC Surf Designs. Yeah, I got this one already. Um, let's see. What else? Um, Super Mario Brothers 2. I already got that. So this is my second one. Um, oh, Tecmo Super Bowl. I don't think I... I don't think I originally had this one, but now I got it. It was a very popular game for years to come on the NES. I'll have to show you some time. It was like number one on the charts for, gosh, like almost a year. Like every month. Like so many people loved it. Um, again, that, and now. Oh, here's what we're getting to. All right. Alright, here's what we're getting to. Now, Tom told me that he had an NES that he was going to give me. Well, here's one of them. Keyword, one of them. Uh, I didn't know he was going to give me two of them, because here's what I found out. Okay. Go to dig through here. And, uh... uh this is a few hours ago. Uh, a few hours ago. I um, went to dig through here, and here's another one. This is all dirty looking. I need to clean it up. I got some bleach. I need to do that. And um, now if one of these doesn't work, that's perfectly fine. I've always wanted a N Nintendo circuit board to put up on my wall. So now I have two Nintendo uh, of these Nintendos just from him. Now that actually means I've got three of them. And uh, I've got the, uh, these are the NES-001, I believe. And i got the NES-101 that doesn't work anymore. My cousin kind of screwed it up. And I let him borrow it. I don't know what I can do to fix it. Um, okay, there's NBA Jam. Um, I've had so many Nintendos. I think I'm on like my third yeah I'm on my third one that I bought that's in the previous video um, so now I got three of them now apparently let's see what these what's in these boxes that I've never opened these before you know of his um, be nice if there's more stuff but like might be the actual NES advantage let's set this down been a long time since I opened one of these. Wow! Still got the little booklets and all that. Oh, yeah. NES Advantage. Yep, sure is. So we got plastic on it and all that. Um, okay, it's like Christmas. Um... Ooh, is this the four score or the satellite? It's for um Yeah. Oh, that's for Super Nintendo. So it's something different. Uh this will be my third one of these. I got one from Tom last year. Now I've got one this year. So I got three of those. Got a bunch of the zapper guns. Um let's see what's in this box. like it might have been uh, unopened. Kind of does. Looks like it's never been unpackaged. Um, <laughs> Alright. 
So he gave me three NES advantages and two Nintendos uh, right there. Wow, so I got five NES advantages. What am I going to do with all of them? Oh my gosh. And uh, look at the packaging to it. Look at how them kids look. It was back in the late 80s. And uh, real arcade joystick. And uh, oh yeah, Super Mario Brothers. And um, yep, bring the professional feel of real arcade joystick out with the arcades, or stick out of the arcades and into your living room. With the NES Advantage, the action the action never stops. Just touch a button and you'll have adjustable repeat <laughs> firepower at your fingertips. When the action gets too fast, you can slow it down with exclusive slow motion control that allows you to time uh, that allows you time to play your next move. Play it alone or flip the switch for two players. So you and a friend get the NES Advantage. And, oh, no, okay, yeah. Um, copyright 1989. All right. You know how the slow motion works on these controllers. It just it just rapidly pauses and unpauses um, the the, uh, the machine. <laughs> and uh, so he gave me this. And uh, I wonder where he got that sticker from. And um, what's that red thing? Is that um, is this actually an Nintendo product? Um, no. I mean, because it's got that red there, and it's uh, got the cabinet. It kind of does. It kind of looks like an official Nintendo product or something. You put some stuff down in there, and then you put your NES in here, I believe, maybe. Um, and, uh, yeah. And, um,. Uh, you want to put your NES in there. And there's stuff there. I guess it's for your wires and cords. I don't believe it stands up like this. Although a person could do that because it looks kind of plain and bare. Um. Well, made in Canada. Well, it looks like I got a new place to put my Nintendo. And stand it up over there by the wall. And I uh, put my NES on there, and um, I don't know, it's kind of neat. Uh, well, let's see, we got an NES right here. I got about a minute left on this video. Ooh, this dirty NES. I need to gut one of these. Uh, I'm supposed to do a video tonight where I disable the lockout chip. And, uh, oh, well, yeah, you can do that. Fit the NES right there. Now, as for plugging in the uh, composite stuff, which I usually do, it's a little bit difficult there. But I guess most people are using the RF adapter. All right. Well, this video is just about over. i got about 30 seconds left on the camera. I am Beak Supreme, and this will be a video on the Beaklebotics YouTube channel. Pet some.